Hey guys, hey guys, hey girls, hey gals, hey guys, welcome to the podcast with Chris and Corey. I, want, and I, I, I fucked that up. Shit. Do it one more time. Hey guys. <laughs> Motherfuckers. No, do it again, because Corey was sniffing. <laughs> guys and gals, welcome back. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm going to murder. I'm going to murder. I'm going to do a murder. It's going to happen. Okay, Corey, shut up! There is a world as tangible as our own. Impossible to see yet. Unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Sleepy Cash. Hey. Featuring Yay. your friend, Rice Pirate Mick. Hey, guys. What a big, ugly retard. Mm, yeah. Next to, Wait, to his right is my friend, my best friend, Corey <laughs> Spats Kid. And, <laughs> and I, I'm your host, Chris O'Neill. Yay. Welcome, y'all. Let's all have a nice, yeah, a nice, a nice tall glass of milk. <laughs> <laughs> and begin the podcast with some questions. Sounds fucking great, dude. Yeah. This is from our wonderful patrons Mick. on Patreon.com. Donate to our Patreon or we will kill ourselves Good. for real. Great Go people. Mick. What? All right, sorry. Read the question. Bomber Party January 5th, 2016 asks, how do you guys feel about moccasins? Would you wear them with or without socks? <laughs> <laughs> to me, to me, to me, this sounds like this sounds like a Dr. No. Seuss ride. Man, we should have saved that for the climax would of the you, show. What the you, fuck is this? Would you wear them here and there? Would you wear them everywhere? Um, I wear mocks without socks. What the fuck is a mock? The only problem is, is that if, if you wear moccasins without socks, they get really sweaty sometimes. Where do you get moccasins? At Walmart? No, you get them from like the Birkenstock store. Uh, well, no, I don't. Look, I don't wear fucking Pocahontas uh, footwear. Yes, uh, Next uh, Native question. Americans. <laughs> Eskimos, Dude, wear feet. lesbians, and hipsters, and people who like comfy shoes in their house wear moccasins because they do keep your feet warm. I get cold feet, moccasins. so you would love moccasins. Okay. Hey, moccasins. I'm gonna get you a pair of moccasins. This is a true for fact. Christmas. This is a true Chris O'Neill fact. This is not a lie or a false fabrication. Jellies. I get cold feet like shit. Liar! I do. I do. Then why do your feet sweat so much? They don't. I get cold feet, and they're always really cold. You're a liar. And that's why I have too. I have showers twice a day because I want to warm up my feet halfway. Through. I wear socks all <laughs> the time. Really? Yes, it's not a lie. It's probably wear... a circulation thing. I think it is. Too, I think because like you're nine feet tall. All, My feet and get really They don't get any cold. blood. It's what about you, Corey? Weird. Would you wear mock? You would actually love fucking moccasins. I wear fucking socks all Roaming the time. around the Newgrounds office in your fresh pair of shiny moccasins. I don't. You know, this is a, this is something that's always been like. It, it's like bizarre mm. because I, it's like really strange to mm. people, especially for Lexi. Lexi told me to get a pair of um, sleepy pants. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Pajamas. Pajama pants. <laughs> It's the same thing. You were a fucking. She told me to get a pair of pajama pants, and I always forget to wear. Well, Do you want sleepy pants with a little panel in the back so you can poop out? Poop I want out the back. I actually want adult underoos. Adult on the ruse. Underoos. Underwear oh, for under adults. Underoos. <laughs> oh, is that those like long johns? Corey like the... made up a word, didn't you? Underoos is a real term. Okay. Is but... that for like the long johns? It's for like it's like, like when farmers get angry and they run out of the farmhouse no. and they're in the, their big uh, red singlet thing. No, those whitey tighties. Underoos. Those are dungarees. Yeah, those are dungarees. Fuck, you guys are fucking with me. No, no. underoos. Underoos and dungarees and <laughs> mongoloids. Dungarees and are real. Underoos what the fuck? is like the children's safe version of boxer shorts oh. for for little children. So they're like, wait, why are like, they children safe? Because, What's so dangerous about normal because boxers? No, they're just for kids. They're underoos. They're not called. They're not even called boxer shorts. That doesn't sound very kid like. I've seen like this weird like trend of like adult women or at least like twenties and thirties starting to get. Get, like really kid like underwear. Have you seen that? There's a word for it. Like they have like panties with like Hello Kitty on it and shit. Oh, really? Like it's coming back. That's weird. Yeah, it's kind of hot and you know weird. What pisses me creepy. off. Yeah. When I'm like, Mom, I'm out of underwear. Can I get some of Dad's underwear? She's like, Sure, going back. And then I grab my Dad's underwear and he wears these like tidy whities <laughs> It's like a yeah, but it's your dad, yeah. so it's like huge. For I, I have accidentally gotten like my dad's underwear before, and it's like a fucking parachute. But it's not comfortable. No, I stopped wearing tidy whities before I reached my like actual double digit age. I feel like you graduate. You go from like tidy whities. Kids wear tidy whities. Yeah, why? tidy whities. Oh, you're why? Com- you're not comfortable. I think it's meant to restrict your peenie. Okay, bittersweet <laughs> prince, January fifth, two thousand sixteen. I'm seeing a, a very common thing with these usernames. If you guys to edit change something in Star Wars movie, which movie would it be, and what would you do with the movie? I would edit episode one, two, and three. 
I would highlight the whole thing and press delete. Whoa. <laughs> so three? No, <clears throat> three's okay. Three, three was okay. I think three's the best of the old ones, but it's not really saying much, though. Yeah. It's true. I would change where it was like Jenga Fett was like the number one clone, and I would make it so it was actually like practical to like what they did and where they retconned it in the future and made it like, you know, just clones of like other troops and stuff, and I would do that. And if I was to change something, I would take what they did in the animated series, the Samurai Jack style. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I would force that to be what they do for the real movie. Mm -hmm. And then everyone would fucking love that movie. Yeah. And I would say fuck the cl fuck this waste of time for the original. Hmm. Yeah. I would say the only thing cool that I liked about the first episode was the pod racer, the F Zero yeah, race that they cool. did. That that was cool. I just make that the whole movie. I mean that's that what would it was, get old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eric. Kisting asks, Hello, Eric. You are now the CEO of Disney. Uh, what is the first thing you do? Right. I I, uh, I fire everybody at Maker Studios because they all deserve to be fired. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! I closed. Fucking called that shit out. Leave me alone. Also, I would uh, I would be all like, you know the way when 100 years or 50 years passes that stuff becomes like up for grabs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They they got rid of that. Wait, wait, what do you mean? So now what? So you know like Captain America and stuff. Yeah. Technically that like that would have been up for anyone to be able to make whatever they wanted. With oh, like that. a movie or. But then Disney was like they went to the courts or whatever and they undid all of that. So I would undo what they undid. Right. And then everyone could make Captain America fucking fan fiction and get away with it. <laughs> Basically. If you were the pre if you were the CEO of Disney, you'd bring back Captain America. No, you would free Captain America. You would free, free all Captain of the, America I would free charity. all of that shit. All of them. Yeah, because that's why uh, they still own Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is fucking. He's way up for grabs like years ago, but they changed it. But then they put him in that video game with fucking Cloud. I would. I would yeah. I would free. <laughs> I would free the copyright to Frozen and sell it to the Chinese market. <laughs> To make millions. <laughs> what does that mean? I'll tell you what I do. I go. I go in the good old Uncle Walt's vault. Mm -hmm. I'd fucking grab a stack of cash, put it in a, a black. A gym bag. I go down on the strip. I you fucking get a bunch of hookers. Disney. And I get a bunch of blow. You're the CEO. I fucking go back to. The, yeah, that's right. I'm the motherfucking CEO. They don't even care. I got the money. They don't I got care. the money. They wouldn't care. I go down. I'd be like, yo, hoes, CEO of Disney. And they'd all be like, let's get in the car. We'd all go back to my place. And we fought. You know, That's what I would do. I think the idea of like Disney being like, yeah, I work for Disney. People look at you like you're like a man-child rapist. Or <laughs> like you're like a pedophile. Like they look at you like, we're going to go back to the Disney world. We're going to fucking the... You know, it's kind of sad though if you think about it. Because like the, the, the CEO of Disney isn't even really known for like animation. At this point, Disney's such a conglomerate. It owns so many different things. Yeah. It's just like you're a business guy yeah. who owns... TV channels and product lines and can I can I say whatever. something? Yeah, it's always bothered me. Like you know, you know the the faithful characters of Disney, yep. like Mickey Mouse, Donald, and Goofy. Yes. yes. The only one I even like. Goofy. No, I, I like Donald. Pluto. Oh, oh yeah, Donald's cool. The, uh, Donald is the only one I like. I find Porky Mickey. Pig. I find Mickey to be boring. I find Goofy to be somewhat tolerable, but he still kind of is one personality where yeah. he's just a klutz and he's a goofy idiot. But I like Donald because Donald like he gets angry. He it's has weird that you say. Because when I was younger, I, I like I didn't care for Mickey Mouse. I'm older now. I don't care for Mickey Mouse still, yeah. right? When I was younger, I loved Goofy and I didn't care for Donald. But now I'm older yeah. and I like Donald and I don't care for Goofy. Yeah, it's like I mean I understand Goofy and I can see his appeal and he still has personality in the movies. Yeah. But Mickey is fucking one cut cookie cutter boring shit. Yeah. He's he's the poster child for Disney. And he's That's so the problem boring. though is that you get like Leonardo syndrome. Like you just become the bland like good guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he doesn't he doesn't do anything. It's like. <laughs> It's just he's a boring character. Hell, right. fucking Pluto, his goddamn dog has more personality than he does. <laughs> yeah. Minnie Mouse is also, she might as well just be fucking like, a, see, that's, like the embodiment like of Superman, sandpaper. Superman, Daffy, or sorry, Donald Min is like Batman. Yeah, mi no, Minnie Mouse is like, like Aquaman I said, is goofy. <laughs> Minnie Mouse is like the embodiment of fucking sandpaper. She's useless except for that one job. She oh. sucks Mickey's dick and that's all she's Whoa. good at. And Daisy, I think. She's just got sass. Yeah, I like Daisy because she's sassy and she's also, um, I think she's hotter than Minnie. Uh, and that's the thing too. Like Donald has such an like a, a cool family. Like he he has the Scrooge McDuck. He has the Huey Dewey Louie. Granted, they didn't do so hot on their own. But <laughs> Huey Dewey and Louie. I need to go pee real quick. Isn't that their name? Huey saying. Dewey and Louie. Yeah. yeah, Dewey. I, I mean, I don't I don't know much about Mickey Mouse aside from what I've learned growing up. But I've always thought Mickey Mouse is just like a very bland character. What do you and think gets? Granted, what do you think I, gets him angry though? What pushes his granted, buttons? Though, granted, though, and I I know I'm probably gonna get crucified for all the stuff I said prior. But the new Mickey Mouse, how they portray him in the cartoons now? Yeah. Oh, he's the ones way on YouTube. Way more animated. Yeah. On YouTube. Oh, I love he's got, those. He's got total personality. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. can see like when he's angry.
angry. You yeah. can see when he's excited. He's a lot more sassy. Yeah, and he's got. He, even if he's a hero, he can still like pull some punches. Yeah. I I think Mickey now. He also is gets way his ass kicked better. a lot, which is kind of fun. Yeah, like I, you see him getting yeah. getting effed with. I think Mickey from the '90s was boring, but I yeah. think 2000s Mickey is much better. That's true. That's my personal opinion. Yeah, the new. I think the new Mickey, if he was to look back at the old Mickey, he'd be like, "Who's this fucking Melvin?" Yeah, yeah. If but he in went the back same in time, but just in the same way, ass. it's like Looney Tunes. Like I, I like the old Looney Tunes. <laughs> like I like how the. But old see, that's the opposite then, because I feel like yeah, the old Looney Tunes had more sass. Yeah. And the newer ones are like these weird, washed out parodies of like the old characters. Yeah. While I think the new Mickey is definitely, I think, more up to par with, with yeah, what's going no, on. Yeah, no, most definitely. He's hip. Yeah, he's cool. He uses Bitcoin. <laughs> he, he rides a hoverboard, which isn't really a hoverboard. It's that stupid he fucking skateboard hoverboard. He goes on the dark web to snuff yeah. private <laughs> sites and he watches people get axed. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, cut her a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let me see her bleed. Okay, that's enough. It's just creepy. Mickey would not do that with his bitcoins. He would spend them on drugs and weed. Yes. He'd be blazing, not fucking watching snuff. Donald would be on YouTube looking at, like, ducks rape dead ducks. <laughs> and he'd be like... I came back at the right time. <laughs> that's Donald Duck drinking. <laughs> he'd be like... <laughs> he sees the duck like fuck the dead duck. We were talking about if like Mickey was really a freak behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. He's he's not this van vanilla. He's already family. a freak because Minnie is like identical to Mickey except that she, you know it's eyelashes and a bow on top of its head. Here's a game theory. He's like fucking wait, himself essentially. Wait, this is important. Wait. Here's, okay. He, wait. Mickey's dick. How did Walt Disney draw it? <laughs> like a pig dick. Is it black like the That's bottom what I'm saying. of his? Yes. Is it is it all black? Is it all pink? But here's a game theory. Have you ever seen Mickey and Minnie in the same room? <laughs> yes. Many times. This is a fucking fight club. <laughs> you imagine that? He's like, oh boy, hey guys, I'll be right back. I just gotta check on the check on the fucking meatloaf. And he just turns around and he like puts just slaps a bow on his head. That's literally all she Comes is, really. Back out. She just like flutters her eyelashes and wears a dress and a bow. Yeah, it's actually him. She's everything. Yeah, I bet if you see, I bet if you really pay attention Minnie, to the cartoon, when there was that episode, when there was that episode of the Disney's and fucking the Disney's, when Daffy, like the Awesomes, when Daffy, the or when Donald, <laughs> fuck, when Donald and and Minnie had an affair behind Mickey's back during the barbecue at Goofy's, it was, it was actually fucking Mickey just with a bow on his head. <laughs> no, he fooled the audience. He held up a mirror with. Like, this inflection. Yeah. When Mickey goes up for like, you know, when, when he's finally released from Disney as like, you can do what you want with him. Yeah. That's going to be one of the first things that people do. Oh, I'm sure. There's going to be so much porn. They're yeah. going to take Mickey and they're going to show him what for. Is that they're the thing right now? Is, does deserve. Disney crack down on like porn Oh, big time. Yeah. Big time. Really? Yeah. Ooh, they're all over that. If you Apparently, do any kind of porn, there's a lot of cop oh, like, really? If you sell it, there's a huge copyright oh, sure. infringement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It used to be 50 years, I think, mm -hmm. but now I think it's 100. Yeah. 100 years? Yeah. If you use anything too, like if you were to make a parody and you use like actual characters and it's like a parody, yes. but it's using the characters, you could still get in trouble for that. So it has to be parodies of the characters. So if you're doing Captain America, you need to do like Captain United States or some shit. Jeez. Yeah, but most people don't really do that anyways. Yeah. No. They're not really going to crack down on you for doing a parody. Nobody really wants to do a parody of fucking Disney stuff yeah. because it's just kind of, what are you going to make a parody of like Big Hero 6? Good luck with that. I bet a whole four people will see it and laugh. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> with their fucking up DVDs. Big Hero Sex. Alright, here we go. I got a question for y'all. You guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Matt Cat Jan asks, Any cast member, what kind of character would you make in Dungeons and Dragons? What character? Yeah. Would, would I make? Yeah. Me. Yeah. Me with a sword. Me, with me a, too. Me with a sword and big sandals. I would make Chris with the sword as my character. <laughs> I'd make a trappy rope. I'd make slut. him run around into an ogre's <laughs> den and just bend over and open his butt. Listen, off. I would not do that. I could rape your ass. I would in a never train. go into an ogre's den. A whole and do fucking that. a whole Lord of the Rings orc army would just rape your butt. I would make. It's not fair. <laughs> I would make a trappy rogue slut. That's what I would do. That's my Dungeons would, and Dragons character. Nice. So you, you'd be able to seduce people, but then you could also fuck them up. No, they would fuck me. And I would get extra points. I would get criticals every time they fuck me. <laughs> and I would win. I'd get to the dungeon master in two fucks. <laughs> 
to me, Dungeons and Dragons is you throw a dice down and it's like you just got frozen. Yeah, you lose I don't three understand turns. it, dude. You, I'm sure it's you really roll fun, the though. dice, you move your character, you buy boardwalk. It's a little and more park place. No, that's and then you put hotels on it. That's sorry. And then if you tip it over the pieces, you get a Jenga and you. That's lose. getting in trouble. Yeah, Jenga. Getting in trouble. What are you kids doing? <laughs> getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the answer is basically fuck Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. I mean, no, I, no. I, when I, I was I younger, actually, I did play it. I would like to play Dungeons and Dragons, but I would play to the key of how my brain works. I'll, I'll just say this: Th this is a this is a true fact. Yo. I'm not kidding. Hundred mm, percent. Yeah. I know you guys think I'm joking. Yeah. Hey, I can see it, but I'm being honest. Okay. <laughs> mm. Every time I made a character, without doubt, and I maybe made like 20 characters over the course of my life, mm. they were always dwarves. Really? Yeah. That's because they're mini and they can fit through the holes whenever you get to like those cracks in the wall. That never <laughs> happened with my character. You weren't playing the way I played. <laughs> <laughs> There's a crack in a wall and you're a dwarf. You're like, hold on. I got this. You just fucking start shoving your face into the crack in the wall? No. You Roll the dice. <laughs> you get through the hole. He's like, oh, by the way, I'm a liquid dwarf. Oh, okay, cool. No, I mean. Corey, you'd suck at Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I would be pretty bad. <laughs> They'd be like, you can roll the dice, but you gotta roll a seven on this die six. Dwarves be like, I'm like gonna do it anyway. Thin. Dwarves aren't just like little pinned like monsters no, that meant, can fit through to uh, anything. With the crack, you thinking about Paper Mario, not Dungeons. Yeah. Dragons. With the crack, I was thinking like small passageways. Yes. Mm. Yes. Like, the, Al like yes. Yeah. Like like a crack, like like Chris's butt. Like a, like yeah, like <laughs> like, like a, a doggy like a deep door. Dark alley. They can go through a doggy door to open up the main door. They for the could. People. That yeah. would be. Very demeaning, though, for a dwarf. Well, they don't play a small person in a Dungeons and Dragons game. I'd be an orc so I could stand in front of a green screen and go invisible. You'd be an orc so you could fuck my Chris character in the butt. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> Chris character. I don't know anything. Would about easily it. defeat the dwarf. I don't understand anything the about Dragons and Dragons. I've never played. Dragons. it. I, I do want to play it though. I would like to play it someday. Next up, we got Colton Chavez. You've ever played Othello? <laughs> <laughs> this is a hard game. <laughs> I hate you. Where is it? I love this question. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Can we expect no. to see any cartoons uh, or Sleepy Cabin skits anytime soon? If so, estimated time of release, Chris, go. We will never estimate a time of release for any project. I just Because love it will always be way more than we actually estimated say. Estimated time of release. We will never. If so, estimated time of release. We will never be on time. But also, you can't expect shit, but we're all still working on our own stuff. And it's no. kind of, we're all hitting a point in our careers where where the internet is fucking us, so we have to get our foot in the, in the door for other places. Yeah, I don't really see the focus of the internet for me currently. I mean, I use it as a means to socialize and still interact with people, but I don't see myself dedicating tons of hours into doing stuff for Same. potential. I think this is, this so far is the most consistent way for yeah, us to connect just, with, we're, with we're people We're just talking, online. and yeah. this is like the easiest thing to do, is it's nice to get together. But you know, the more you think talk. about it, <clears throat> and this isn't just a justification for us lowering the, the Patreon thing down to a dollar, I honestly believe that like, it, so like, let's say people want to support Sleepy Cabin, right? right. So like, this is one of the things we do, but when you support Sleepy Cabin, you're, you're supporting all the guys in it. And we all happen to be doing different things than when we started, right? We're not making a lot of the cartoons that we were making for YouTube and whatnot. Yeah. But instead, you're making cartoons for television or the series. Um, I'm trying to pitch stuff as well. Uh, there's the video game that pretty much all of us are working on right now. Yeah. You know, so I feel like to a degree, the only difference, the only difference is that a lot of the stuff isn't on YouTube. Yeah. That's literally the only difference. That's really what like it we're comes still down making to. so many things like either it's music or games or or videos, but just not on YouTube. You pretty much have to make your YouTube quota if you still want to stay relevant. I suppose outside of like a podcast. Because it's like, you know, if if you don't release something for like and even then so, like the system has been is so fucked up. No. If I was yeah. to release something, I've completely been absolutely bled. It, it's there's so much blood that's gone that there's nothing to bleed anymore. It's fucking. I'm just curious, vapor. like we were talking, weren't we talking about like with the algorithm? Like if you don't put out stuff or if people haven't seen your stuff in you a while, like you don't even burn. show up like in the feed. Yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. You get subscribers. So like, you get bled out of people's. So if you spent like two months on a video and they would you only it, get like, like ten thousand views, maybe. Uh, like no one even fucking see it. Yeah. It, wow. It's just a waste of time. Yeah, exactly. It specifically caters to the Let's Play community and the vloggers who can release stuff out regularly. That said, Chris and I were already 
talking about some stuff. I'm not I'm not putting out any release dates, but we are we got the cameras and we do want to start filming some stuff. So it's always something that's on our mind. It's always something we want to do. When we hang out, that's like one of the first things we talk about is like, hey, we should do this or we really want to do that. So it is on our list and it, currently it's on our schedule. So we'll see yeah. how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, this is a good one. It's it's from J Mac. If you guys won an Oscar Grammy Emmy Award, what would your acceptance speech be? Corey, what huh? would you say? You just you just won an Oscar for your, your new movie, uh, Big Ugly Boy, for <laughs> the true story of Corey. <laughs> and you walk up on that big, big old, ugly boy. You're, for? You're, you're in the Chinese theater. For? I won it. You're in the Chinese theater. I think that's where they do. Probably not. But anyways, you're in there and you're in front of all the celebrities. Angelina Jolie's looking up at you. To her right is uh, Martin Luther King, and to his right is uh, Jack Black. So they're all they're all there. All your they're heroes. Like, yes, yes, yes. So what is your speech? What do you say? I laugh, and I'm like, you gave me an award for Big Ugly Boy? It's Big Ugly Boy 4, Corey. Big Ugly Boy 4, the boy. The first three didn't really hit, hit good graces with the audience. About, it's about time. I got the yeah, recognition I, I deserved. Like, I'd be like, it does me great honor to finally get the Big Ugly Boy 4. I still like it. The, the, you guys gave me a fucking <laughs> award? The movie's a big ugly boy! Four! <laughs> it's, it's a tr tr troubled story about a boy who's ugly and kills himself. It's just realistic. <laughs> who would you thank? I would thank my friends, hmm. my parents, oh. uh, the audience, God, Satan. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Mother Nature. <laughs> in oxygen. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> For helping me breathe in those times of peril. <laughs> when my movie got deleted four times. <laughs> when Big Ugly Boy got hit with bad critics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's my movie, Big Ugly wow. Boy. Wow, cool. What's yours? You, you, I gave you your, your movie. What's my movie? I, for some reason, I, keep, I kept saying Big Dick Rick all day today for no okay. reason. So I walk up on stage. For your porno flick, Big Dick Rick. <laughs> I'd say, wow, I can't believe my porn won an Emmy. <laughs> this is a first in history. Thanks to the American Movie Association for helping me get past those mean critics. <laughs> and that, the, the, you know, you're not allowed to win porn awards in, at the Emmys. Thanks for helping me. Thanks for all those boys <laughs> jacked off to my movie. <laughs> yeah. Big ugly boy, big dick Rick. Okay, okay Mick. <laughs> the Lion, the Witch, and the Chinaman. <laughs> Just like a direct <laughs> the fucking B movie of the original. <laughs> you, you won it at a Chinese it's award like ceremony. The Tiger, the Wizard, and the Chinaman. <laughs> you, you won it at a Chinese award ceremony. So they're like, hi, 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 hi. Corey! Am I in, I'm being realistic. Is this, in a, is this a Chinese award ceremony? Yours is. They fucking. <laughs> It's still in America, but they're still like, trying American. to be nice. We're in the fucking. You guys are all in the fucking award hall. They put me over at like the local like fucking Chinese takeout places. Cleared out some of the tables. There's yeah. some fold out chairs. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in front of like a like a fucking like black market Blu-ray machine. <laughs> What's your speech? You gotta do it in Chinese. <laughs> yeah, go on. Do it in Chinese. Do it. You have to. 大家好，谢谢你们给我这个。<laughs> and that means, wow, this is pretty cool. <laughs> yes. In the sea, and then I just dance off the stage, and everybody would throw fucking fried rice in the air. <laughs> it's scalding fucking pieces of rice. Hi. Then wow. I'd eat my, I'd break my award open, and there's a big fucking fortune cookie in it. It says learn Chinese. <laughs> the end. There wow. we go. We all won an Emmy. Cool. <laughs> Except I didn't. You guys won Emmys and then fucking booted me over to the fucking. You cheated. Mick, it's fine. It was all paid for. It's the like unable yeah, stuff. So I didn't lose anything. You were the lion, the witch, and the China man. You t you stole uh, you stole a popular <laughs> movie book. Yeah, you're a plagiarist. <laughs> you're a plagiarist. Look, Ponyo is not Ponyo. Okay. Okay, fine. Learn Asian. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, from Freaka Jeebus, if you were a serial killer, what song would you whistle while you murdered your victims? Ooh! That's, that's a good. great one. That's a good one, right? That's a good one. The Three's Company theme song. <laughs> 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 
No! <laughs> no! It's so, yeah, I mean, it's so fast-paced and cheery that, like... It it's works. Terrifying. Yeah, that it does work. It's more terrifying because it's so, like... Do, 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 do. When I used yeah. to think of... When I used to hear that theme song, I'd be like, this is perfect for a killer to whistle. It's like, come and knock on my door. That, like, that is perfect. Yeah. Come and knock on my door, it's kick it like, down, and fucking grab me by my hair and drag me into the bathroom. It's like that scary slip company, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, like, that kind of Tiny Tim vibe where it's really cheery but really creepy. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Mick? Ponyo, 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 That would that would work too. Yeah. Though. I can't whistle very well. Pretty much anything cheery that would like make yeah, because that's still it's yeah. still got it's not as like hectic. Okay, but like especially if you knew what they were whistling like as they were about to kill you, you'd be like, "Well, no!" <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think would be like the most unsuited murder whistling theme? Unsuited, like it wouldn't be a good one. Yeah, horrible choice. Um, the, let the body set the floor. <laughs> 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 and how ironic is that? I was gonna say like happy birthday, but I actually think that would work. That would work too. Yeah, that would work really well. <laughs> or okay, how about like? Uh... Yeah. That just doesn't work. It wouldn't. I'd be like, ew, kill me. <laughs> just fucking kill me, dude. What is that? What is Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I, Concerning that's, Hobbits. That's what, trying, <laughs> that's what I was trying to think of. It's just like... <laughs> no, it's, like ah, it's like something else. Or like... You know the Final Fantasy VII battle theme? <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the autistic verses. <laughs> <laughs> the battle man. Though, if they did, oh, perfect. They, if they did the fanfare, that might work. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the perfect, horrible choice for murdering a victim would be. <laughs> oh my god, is this the angry video yeah. game nerd? <laughs> I feel like if I was about to get killed to that, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> yeah, it's really, I, I kind of like bob really my catchy. head to it, like, oh, I know that one, and then I'd be dead. Yeah, yeah. I think that's perfectly horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but I like that song though. Yeah. I think it's really catchy. Yeah. Uh, okay. That was a good question. That was a great question. Thank you, Frank. We need more creative questions like that. Yeah, that was good. Aben Shaban asks, name oh. a new sex position after each one of the Sleepy Cabin crew and describe it. Ah. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, the rice pirate. No. Okay, so it has to involve a pirate and rice. The stinky. Wait, I thought it just had to be based on who we were, not our names. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh. Just based on who we are as people. Okay. I'm gonna do uh, the stinky vinky. That's that would... Mix. He farts all the time. Yeah, that would be mine. The Corey... stinky vinky. Cor Corey's sex sexual position would be the fucking red trombone. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> it's just like. You uh, just it's blow on Corey's trombone. dick until oh, your you face turns the purple. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a horrible prolapse position. Yeah. Uh, by the way, for people who don't get it, Corey has a red trombone. Yeah. Yeah, in my pants. Thanks for noticing. No! Ah! No! Ah! It's your pee bone! Chris's would be, um... This better be good, Mick. I, I, just, call it, I just call it, uh... The tater sack. God! Uh, That's where he takes a potato and just shoves it up his own No! Ass. You guys are bullies! <laughs> Call it the one or something. It'd be the sleeping cedar. The sleeping cedar? The sleeping cedar. What's that? I don't know. Probably like fuck two bed cushions or something. <laughs> I didn't think of the semantics. Of <laughs> what does that have to do with me as a person? <laughs> we haven't answered this properly yet. What does the stinky yet? vinky have to do with anything? Who got the stinky vinky? You don't get to make up your own one, okay? You get Corey, stinky yours would be the fucking the cleft toe retard baby. No, <laughs> yours would be like the cumbersome Corey where. You... <laughs> You, you sit on your back and you expect them to do all the work. <laughs> like how? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Um, were any of you guys ever fans of Homestar Runner? Asks Philip Gaystar. Um, Is if that so, really their name? I don't know. I'm just dyslexic. I think it says <laughs> Gazert, but I said Gaystar. If so, do you still find it amazing? Because I do, too. My because only runner. Somebody explain to me Homestar Runner. I don't know either. It's just some cartoon on the internet. Uh, you know, you know want to know something? Is that the one with the luchador mask guy? Yeah. yeah. You want to know the honest truth? What I is know that from? Nothing. Because Was that from the 90s? Because I wasn't... It was ancient. Yeah, everybody... Flash. It's still like wide. Respect Everybody I like loves I missed it, that but window. I did. I yeah, absolutely, completely missed Homestar Runner. Every time I see Homestar Runner, I 
think I think it looks fucking stupid. But that's just like just there me. was that thing on Newgrounds with that rat cat thing. Rat cat. Yeah, remember? There's like that. There's that lesbian girl or whatever. She's like she gets like skinny and foam fat. with the squirrel. Yeah, foam with the squirrel. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like I feel like I missed that. Too, I, but that's I, been I, really popular for a while. I caught the edge of foam with the, the squirrel like later on, like when it was at its sort of peak. Yeah. But I never saw Homestar Runner. I just remember people always leaking stuff and being like, "It's really funny." And then I watched. The only reason it, I know what it is is because I used to like Guitar Hero a lot, and then one of his songs is in it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Trogdor. You never see Trogdor? Mm -mm. I think it's because the characters were like unique and original with like their like, it's personality like, it's, or whatever. I, I think it's really tr I've, like I've seen one or was two it on TV? years ago. No, it, it's just this really charming cartoon. Because it feels like almost I think, like I, an Adult uh, Swim kind yeah, of like thing. And it they, does. Yeah. I can't stand Homestar's voice though, and I think that's a joke. Oh, it's that mix. It's like, oh. hey man. I, I, I no, no, no. Homestar is like, like he's eating his mouth. Oh, oh yeah, that, yeah. He's eating his tongue. He's like, I'm gonna die one. That's my opinion about Homestar. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you gotta make read some questions. Wingman two six nine nine asks oh. Outlook on life? Oh man, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> What? The end is nigh. What does the outlook mean? What's kind of like what you imagine the the end of what the conclusion that you give to life? What's your outlook? What, what do you what perceive is your the future of life? Yeah. For me, I want to go out with a bang. I think okay. most people want to do that, but even if like, you know, death is inevitable, I'd still really like to have something to my name that I could look back on for generations and like you know hmm. how like even even if Grant Kirkhope was to like keel over <laughs> he still has like the Banjo Kazooie soundtrack and all the rare stuff he's done in Banjo Kazooie like it was like a big everyone will always remember that because it had such a huge impact on people and I'd like that to hmm. have that much of an impact that could last for like years and shit that's a really nice way of putting it that's Corey. personally what I think life is life is a goal you have to infinitely reach and it's like you know they throw a bunch of curveballs at when you. I heard that question that wasn't what I was thinking at all though mm -hmm. I thought he was more so asking like, what do you think of life so far? Is that yeah. what he was saying? Uh, so what's your outlook on life? I hate it. It's alright. <laughs> it's not- You said you had a long answer! Yeah, I do. Okay, this is this is my long answer, right? When I was um, in school, from the age of about 12 through 18, all I wanted was to get out of school and yeah. do animation, right? And all the way through school, I was like, this is so fucking pointless. All I want to do is make stuff. And now that I'm at the point where I'm just making stuff, I'm just like, I'm not, you know, content yet. Yeah. I need to figure out what I really want to do in the long term because it, it looks like for now, animation does not actually make me happy. Yeah. It's not rewarding to me. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it's one of those things that's always going to be like, people will take advantage of you and not appreciate it. And it's cool as a hobby. I love it as a hobby, right? Mm -hmm. But now, now that's my job and there's so, all this pressure, it's like, I don't want to do this as a job anymore. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Yeah, and this is one other thing is that when you're in school and you're like, I want to get out, you don't realize how fucking hard the real world is. Yeah. yeah. You're fi I'm figuring this out like e every week, every fucking week, there's something new that I have to figure out that I did not know I'd have to do. Like fucking washing machine breaks. And you're like, what the fuck do I do now? I'll call the guy in the back. Oh, it's another $200 gone. It's like, cool. So every fucking week, something goes wrong and you will have to have a shit ton of money saved. Reality <laughs> hits you like a brick yeah. once you fucking leave mommy and daddy's crib. Yeah, you get, you get a wake up call. There is so, so much shit you got to do when you leave. That's something I wanted to talk about though. I had a discussion with someone on the subreddit I was talking about high school, where mm. it's like people say high school is some of the best years of their nope, lives. Nope, 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 nope! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go into that, but it's like for me, this is what I remember from high school. Mm. I remember immediately getting out of high school, mm. they told me to go to college. Yeah. And then they, they were me like, too. they were like, you need to go to college to decide what you want to do in life. But when yeah. I was in high school, they were like, you need to go to high school to decide what you want to do in life. Yeah. So it's like, where's the off switch? Where do you decide what you want to do in life? And it's like, when I see high school, a guy brought up some points where it's like, teaches you basic like social skills but I personally think you should have been learning these kinds of social skills in your grade school yeah. like, if, like if you can't fucking share or, high school or, taught me how to hide smoking and yeah, cheat on tests exactly <laughs> that's another thing that's another thing like people both important lessons no 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 but, you know. yeah like what's what's funny to me is for me in high school I can it was like the breaking point like when, I, when you were in middle school you didn't get into drugs your friends were getting into all this shit but when you get into high school it's that breaking point where you either get to a point where you just want to drop out or you finish it but you don't even care and you don't retain any of that knowledge yeah. and that's what it's like for a lot of people like they're just, they're just getting through high school they're just getting by they're cheating they're doing whatever the fuck they can yep. to get that passing grade and then they're done they're not going to retain any knowledge and they're just going to know that oh I have a golden ticket for when I go to like a job that I may get picked for I it. think something everyone should do is take a year out after high school oh definitely because everyone rushes into college and then yes. most, most people I know uh, drop out and then they're in debt yeah most people I know but get a like, degree that they don't even fucking 
want, by the time they get their degree, yeah. they don't even want a job in the thing that they studied. What a waste of four years and however much debt yeah. that yeah. they're going to have to work themselves Luckily out. Luckily in what? Ireland, you don't get debt for college at yeah. all. Yeah, but it's like with high school, it's like, oh, you know, people consider you stupid if you don't graduate high yeah. school. You could retain way more knowledge after high school if you really actively went out of it. Hi all high school did was just give you a bunch of bullshit extracurriculars you didn't have to do. Usually if you're like super talented at something, you will find a yeah. job with it. People aren't going to turn you away because you didn't get your degree. If they can see that you can make them a lot of money, they're going to hire you. Yeah, I wanted to do art and I was doing like <laughs> science and like social studies and all this shit and it's like, I clearly didn't want to be like a social studies teacher or a science teacher, so mm -hmm. you know, I didn't want to do that. So when I was doing high school, I wasn't like, you know, I want to be a teacher, I want to be actively going I was just like, oh god, I have fucking science, I have to finish and get an A so I can just have a degree. And to me, it's like when people say like, oh, like, you need a high school diploma, you don't really, because honestly, like, what it comes down to is, yes, it's probably good to like, but you're not gonna go into a job and be like, got your high school diploma, where can I sign? Like, where, how, when can I get I think, started? I think what's kind of hard, though, is that, that that frame of mind, that kind of thinking comes mm -hmm. from a generation before the internet was as popular as it was, and I think that that kind of thinking just kind of kind of got passed down the line yeah. so that's what they would teach you and then that's just what you expect the thing is though <clears throat> i honestly believe mm -hmm. that before the internet became as easily accessible as it is um, before it became so easy for anyone just to do like a square space or a youtube where you can post your content or a soundcloud where you can post your content yeah i mean it, this it isn't just for the creatives there's plenty of ways of showing your work now and what you do but i think back in the day they had to have these very like by the number Numbers, ways of basically sifting through the cattle because they didn't have all this access to that's like, what you know Chris you know you is. say like oh why don't they just they're not gonna hire you you know just because of your degree like they'll look at your work but the thing is is that back then they needed to sift through thousands of applications yeah. well the first thing they're gonna do this is before they could just go online and look at your shit yeah. you know they'd have to go they just look at the schools you go to yeah so for them back then I kind of get it not I kind of totally. understand why but now there's no excuse now there's just so many ways of showcasing what you do so easily that yeah it doesn't matter what fucking school you go to it doesn't yeah. what you bring to the table is what really matters and it, like people are saying like oh the best years of my life is like high school and it's like what do you remember from high school you may remember a, a few cool teachers maybe you may remember a few like fucking people you fucked or had a girlfriend I fucked a lot yeah you may remember that <laughs> and I drank no, but, a but lot. what you don't remember is you don't remember those fun math problems and any of that shit <laughs> so it's like you don't remember this stuff because you only remember the good times. You know it's, what I think? It's the equivalent of remembering a party that you had got really drunk and threw up all over yourself. I think, the people, the, I think the people who say that are the people in high school who are the top of the popularity chain oh, and then, and then they, they leave come high school out. and they're, they're nothing and they <laughs> yeah. waste all their time doing shit but and even then, so, not all ready you remember, for the real world. And all they, you remember though is socializing with your friends yeah. and like drinking and being Yeah, but that's better for a lot of people than whatever miserable life they have now where they're fucking yeah. dealing with a washing machine yeah. every week and paying this bill and yeah. dealing with this medical thing and dealing with that debt or whatever the fuck. So what it comes to, in my opinion, is it's like high school is one of those things where, and that's why I said, to me, high school was a make or break situation. You either make it or you just break it. Mm. There's there's no middle ground. You either make it through how, it how or you, you break just quit. It. How you break it, Corey? You break high school, you quit. You break, oh, you just quit. You that's just a, leave. It's just a term. <laughs> I always consider high school make it or break it. Luckily, weed wasn't popular when I was in high school, so I was able to get through high school, but I guarantee fucking tea if weed, if it had been two or, or three more years, Years, whenever like weed started getting really popular. Oh, it's been then, popular, but it depends on the area. Sometimes it's no. In our area, it's criminalized, so people can't smoke weed. So nobody smoked weed until like everyone was finished with high school, and then everyone started smoking weed. But during that time, we were all just doing high school, and it's different for everybody. But really, what it comes down to is you're only gonna remember the socializing experiences you had in high school. You're not gonna remember the fucking. You're not gonna remember your math problems. You're not gonna show off your work to. You're not gonna be like, look, I got an A plus on my English exam. They're gonna be like, cool, I don't care. It's as far as my outlook on life, um, I have a very positive one at least. I love life despite the shittiness that's happened. I feel very lucky, uh, very fortunate to have um, the friends and the opportunities that I've had. I feel like I've done a lot more of the things that I've wanted to do than a lot of people may in their life. Yeah. If I found out I got a terrible disease tomorrow, I, I don't think I could be very angry. I mean, I'm young, I'd be, I'd be sad. I'd be obviously upset that I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do because there's still a lot I want to do, but I do feel like I can't really complain. When like, you say all that, I feel really bad because that's how I should feel, but I just don't. Well, you, you've grown with it your whole life. 
You're I think so when you get older, it's searching. easier to appreciate uh, those things. It's like what me and you were saying earlier. It's like <laughs> when we were walking into the new, like we're recording this at Newgrounds yeah. right now. We were talking about the idea that like here we are at Newgrounds recording a podcast. Yeah. Just saying those words, right? Like it's not a big deal to us because we do it like all the time. Yeah. And, and, like we, you know, you well, basically live here. Yeah. Well, when, when, like Corey, when me and you were like sixteen, can you imagine saying that to yourself and being like, no. I couldn't imagine it. Like, that's that's not room possible. With you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and it's not like there's like fucking big bitch toes and shit bouncing around and like fucking you know champagne pouring out of the fridge <laughs> it's you know it's what it is yeah but it's still not a life that i would have ever have expected no. and it's a really cool one you know it's it's hard work and it you know it drives you crazy at times but it's yeah. interesting how things like m turn into this way yeah can i say something though because i really like this question do it turbo cancer asks could you use a movie title to describe the last shit you took i like that <laughs> I, I like that idea jackie brown <laughs> Jackie Brown? Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. But like checked the, off. No, but is the title supposed to be shit. reminiscent of like the actual, oh, like, is, like yeah. the actual movie? You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Right. I, I just took a rumble in the Bronx. I saw that <laughs> with Lexi last night. See, I would actually try to equate the actual plot of the movie to the plot yeah. of my shit. Ja Jackie it's impossible. Yeah. No. Today's shit that I took. He said movie title. So yes. I took a fucking yes. rumble in the Bronx. I like that. I like that. <laughs> what did you do? Okay, so think of a movie that fits this description. Yeah. Um, I had I, a wicked Jack and Jill. No, it was, it was <laughs> highly... There was a lot of hype. There was a lot of anticipation. Star Wars. I was so excited. Yeah. I sat down. A little bit came out, then all of a sudden I got a big boost. It was great, but then I was kind of expecting something to happen at the end. Yeah. And then I was just kind of pinching off little nuggets, little little like fruity pebble. And the smell, things. the smell of your shit kept reminding you of a prior shit that you had that you really enjoyed. Uh, that I really would have enjoyed. Yeah. <laughs> so what movie does that? It was Star Wars. Yeah, actually, That's you said it in the game. <laughs> that or that or The Martian. No, no, no. The Martian actually has at least a okay. climax. I'm gonna explain my shit with the plot of a movie. Okay. okay. So. I was taking a shit, okay. and the the camera pans through the toilet, <laughs> and there's like this machine that's like creating breakfast, and then it slops down, and, it, and then this little shit came out of my ass. It came into view. And it's this like is the beginning of Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking. I was thinking it was Pee Wee. Do you remember that in Back to the Future? Yeah. When the machine drops. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. A lot of movies start with that machine that makes <laughs> breakfast. Uh, ben Myers asks, "How do you guys deal with stress? What are things that you use as a getaway from life?" I like taking baths. Mm, I yeah. like sitting in my bean bag and pondering. Do you really? Yeah. What do you ponder? I don't know. You're a liar. You just sit not, on your fucking iPhone and play little not, fake songs on your phone. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. You just stare at the ceiling and ponder? Sometimes. Really? That's what I like to that's do. Very, that's very introspective that's of me. That's why you have bats, too. When I relax, I like to sit, lay comfortably uh, in an area, and place my little iPad up on my stomach and watch shows on my stomach. You know what? I'm a very introverted person. I like being around people, but I don't like talking to people all the time. Same. Introverted. So, uh, is that when your penis goes inside your body? Nothing's about a penis. Oh. It's, it's when, okay, so there's introverts <laughs> and extroverts. Uh, extroverts get energy from people talking to them and being around them. Extroverts. Introverts get their energy sucked out of them by other people. So it, let's say if I'm at a party, right? Yeah. I'll walk in the door and instantly I'll be getting tired from all the fucking commotion. Yeah. And then after an hour I'll want to leave because I'm like, ugh. Oh God, so Chris, tired. I'm the exact same way. Yeah, well, that's like introverts and extroverts. You so, know, I'm a complete <laughs> introvert. I, I like being around people occasionally, but most of the time, I like I like just sitting in a corner it, and watching TV. It or depends something. on the group. Yeah. If there's yeah. like maybe like two or three people, I can manage. But if there's like more than fucking like ten, yeah, I'm gone. yeah, me too. What? I don't want to be there. Then what is Goku? He's a uh, Goku's a hero for all mankind. Because clearly, he gets energy from everybody. <laughs> I am. Uh, I don't know what I mean. I like to play. I like to stream. Like I'll play Bloodborne or Dark. Dark Souls, which a lot of people are like, why are you doing this to relax? Yes. But I actually find it very relaxing. Like playing games. And I also like to do it on stream. I like actually, to have like a group of people. That's like, a really good point. I don't know if being an introvert or an extrovert would like would streaming affect you in either way. Right. Because uh, I actually personally feel that I get a lot of my energy sucked out of me while I'm streaming. So really? I usually only do it for an hour or so. Well, that could also be part of the introvert then. Yeah, probably. But see, that's weird because Stamper, mm. I don't know if he's an introvert or an extrovert because... I think he's an extrovert because he likes people. He does, but sometimes he obviously likes to be left alone. Yeah. But then he'll like, yeah. But uh, sometimes well, he's totally. Also, I also think everything is never black and white. Yeah. Like um, I'm just it, saying, for him, I feel like it's extremes. Like yeah. sometimes he's like, I'm not talking to people for a week, yeah. and then other times he's like, you know, like, hey, he's the host of the house, and or he'll stream for like eight hours and talk to everybody, yeah. you know, like. Yeah, I don't think 
he's black or white. I think he's like his own dude. Yeah. But as for me and Corey, I, like we're introverts to the. I'm extreme. the exact same as you, Chris. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't like being around a lot of people unless I'm drinking. Yeah. And then I'll try and drink myself. Even if I'm home. drinking, though, like after an hour, I'll be like, oh, I want to go back into my room. Me too. But I'll get as drunk as possible so I get tired. <laughs> and then everything, like, if I'm still awake somehow, and it's weird because sometimes I'll still manage to stay awake even when I'm drunk. Yeah. yeah. And I'll work. I'll work through my. That's drinking. not to say though that I'm not friendly or whatever. Like. Yeah. I, I, I do like being around people. It's you don't just, cower away just, from people when they try just, to shake your hand. It, I don't know. It's just something that uh, <gasps> no, like I, I'm I'm outgoing and I'll shake people's hands and I'll like I'll hug people and be cool and stuff. But after like an hour or two, I'll just be like so out of energy. I'll just have to leave. Jeff's the same way. He doesn't like being around people for too long. He has to have his alone time. Yeah. No, I love alone time. I need alone time. That's why I kind of like just laying down and like watching something by myself. Yeah. And then mm. I fall asleep, and I wake up from a power nap, and I'm ready to work again. Okay, Father Okrifa? Okay, well, he asks, <laughs> How does each member of the podcast approach learning something new when they're in a mood that essentially works against their will to do so? How do you guys push to learn even when you're in the midst of a mental block or emotional funk? Sorry, say that whole thing one more time from the beginning. Okay, in baby retard mode for Mick. Yes, it's, please. It's if, um, how do you, how do you push yourself to learn something when you're not feeling like learning something? Okay. But basically, I think that doesn't make sense because... Well, I don't want to learn something if I don't want, if I don't want to. Yeah, you, you don't learn something <laughs> if you don't want to learn something, but, like, I don't, I think human nature is wanting to learn something that you're interested in. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this, if I you have I've learned plenty of things when I wouldn't necessarily want to, and that's when I have a deadline. Yeah, but uh, but he's asking like, how do you learn something when you don't want to learn, or like when you're in a you know a, right a mental block? But I don't know. I always feel <laughs> like if I want to learn something, I want to learn something. Yeah, usually. Right. If you have a mental block then you I feel to, like you don't learn. Yeah. Like, you could sit there and stare at a tutorial for 18 hours on repeat, but if you're not in the mind frame to learn, yeah. it's just going to pass right Maybe through Maybe you don't want to do it at all. Right. And Maybe you should learn something you do want to learn. Yeah. That's a good suggestion. Maybe it's a bad suggestion if he needs to learn. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but I, I have to. The only way you'll want to learn something is if you challenge yourself. That's the only way. Yeah, it's like, for instance, like anatomy. Like, if you want to learn how to draw people correctly, then you're going to need to learn anatomy. You're going to learn it. You got to learn it. You, you got to level up. You can't just guess. Level up. You got to yeah. level up. You can't just guess bitch. your way through life and figure out Stop how to Stop crying like a little yeah, if baby. If you don't want to learn it, then the only way you're going to learn it is to just sit down and do it over and over yeah. and over until it's in your brain. That's Stop complaining and grow a pair. That's everything. Okay, so. Legs. I guess my. So you can run. <laughs> <laughs> My advice is if you don't want to learn it, then just write it down or draw it over and over and over and over and over until it's yeah. in your brain or learn something you do or want to learn. find alternative ways to do it that makes you want to do it, yeah. which sounds insane and doesn't really sound like it's plausible. <laughs> but it's like, if I want to learn Chinese, I'm not just going to, or if I want to learn Japanese, I'm not just going to watch animes all day and try to go pause it and be like, they say a word and be like, ha, a wa, a wa tio tisi ni a fi. That's not a fucking thing. Yes, it is. Is it? It's Chinese. Nope. What? Shut up! What happy waffy toasty bowl po 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 Oh my god! Whoop, whoop, First whoop, of all whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> That's Japanese. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nick Shellman asks, Yes! An alien invasion is happening tomorrow and you have no time to prepare for the onslaught. What's your game plan? Well, I know the aliens Wait, are Wait, I have no tomorrow. time to plan? You've got no time to plan, but what are you going to do right now? Well, the aliens... I know the aliens are coming tomorrow. Yeah, but what are you going to do? The same thing I'm doing now. You've I mean, only got like a few hours. What the fuck are the aliens going to do? <laughs> they're going to come down and fucking shove their huge 10-foot fingers up your ass. Does he say that or did he just no, say No, that's coming? what I say. They're going to come down and like, you know, enslave you or kill you. So this is the arc we have to get through. Yeah. They're gonna come in and finger fuck everybody with their 12 foot fingers. <laughs> yeah. You don't know that. Yeah. They do know that. This is the arc. <laughs> pictures from NASA out. clearly show aliens sitting in <laughs> huge this. floating chairs and with big long 12 foot fingers. <laughs> yeah, there's like pictures, like snapshots of the great things doing this and doing this. <laughs> like, <laughs> they got shots into the space sh spaceship window of them like sticking their big fingers <laughs> through like a, like, oh, we're they're gonna like do pointing, it. They're, pointing, they're, they're, they're yeah. pointing at your face and they're going, yeah, <laughs> oh, we're gonna they're get They're not ya. saying, yeah. Yeah, they're going. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? They're coming down. They're coming down. You've got twelve hours. Let's say you got twelve hours, Corey. Kay. What do you do? I'm gonna be animating. Suddenly, <laughs> I fall out of my seat. No, the aliens come you've down. You've got twelve hours before they come down. <laughs> he just waited twelve hours. He was just he animating waited for twelve, for 12 hours. hours. <laughs> I, just, I finished up what I was doing. I sat down and fell asleep. Okay, well you're dead. Then I got up. That's to the work. end of your story. They're, they're gonna. They're, they're not gonna kill me. Yes, they are. Now, how, here's, here's the, thing. the thing. They come in. They're like. 
They have like two fingers. I put my hand on them because they're small and I hold them back. They're not small. How they're actually you? like 12 feet tall. Okay. They're twice the size of a human. Oh, they have 12 feet fingers. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, 12 feet tall and 12 gonna feet fingers. My finger. Corey, this is what they do. They shove one finger up your uh, asshole. And if you're a girl, they shove another finger up your pussy. And then they like, they bend their fingers inwards and crush you from the inside. Got it. So, uh, there's two th Okay, so first of all, the main plan A is, first of all, do we all know that it's happening? Does the world the know? The entire world knows. Shit. So if I go to like a gun store, all gone. Okay. All the guns are gone. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's improvise. Okay. I'll be the story master, and you gotta <laughs> tell me what you're doing, and I'll change. The so situation. we're basically playing Dungeons and Dragons yeah. with no dice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So the okay. aliens are coming down at 12 hours. Uh, citizens of the Earth, you must prepare. Bye. All right. So the very first thing I would do is um, I would go to. God damn, like if I went to a police station- Roads are blocked off, all the cars are- I would use the only weapon I know how to use. I'd play a trombone really loud in their ear. Dead. Shot um, by the army. And if I go- <laughs> If I go to the store- If I go to the store, is all the food gone too? Most of it. There's only like, expired milk left. Only okay. expired milk? Rats! And, Fuck! And an expired sausage. <laughs> I go to a local expired church. Sausage. Okay. Because everyone's abandoned God by now, because they all realize there's aliens, so therefore, there's clearly no God. Right. So, I would go into the church, I'd go into the basement, and they always have food for like, donations and stuff. Maybe. The bums have beat you. Shit. They got, got beat there. by bums. <laughs> um, and while you leave, you get molested by a bum on the way out. Shit! But now you're back on the street and you're you're fine. Do not pass go. The Do not collect $200. Are, collect the hours a, are collect counting Collect a dirty down. bum dick in your butt. <laughs> the hours are counting down. You Shit! How many hours I got left? You ten. Few, ten, yeah. Okay, so I've gone to the gun store, I've gone to the grocery store, I've gone to the police station, I've gone to the church. Why would you go to the police station? It's like, police help, the aliens is coming. <laughs> no! I was hoping that- The, the aliens is coming, police! No! Well, my hope was is that they would have abandoned the police station. No, they're like, they're actually shooting people trying to get in to get the guns. Shit. <laughs> okay, uh, I go to a hardware store. Fuck, you're gonna tell, but is there any place I can go that's I'm not- I'm the story master, you gotta play your game and see what right, I say. Chris, I spend 14- Cool, you're already dead, shot by the army for Hold playing on. your trombone too loud. What army? The American army. No, I'm doing the they're alien- They're like, he's causing disturbance, kill him. They would never do that. Okay, fine. I was fighting, okay. Okay, well, you, you escape the bullets, you're fine, okay? No, I, hold on, so the, I have- have like 14 hours and the aliens are gonna come. You got 10 hours. Okay, well I spend a good chunk of my hours writing a sign with rocks up in the <laughs> top of the Newgrounds building saying no one lives here to throw them off. Because the can't. aliens can't read it because they don't speak English. Exactly, so I throw them off. So that they come in and kill you. <laughs> no, no one's here. <laughs> He's the story master, you're dead. <laughs> okay, so what you're saying is you say no one's here and you leave because there's no one there. Yeah. Okay, well that was pointless, Corey. You wasted another two hours of your time. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> then I get hungry, yeah. so I go to Wawa's. Wawa's is like... Completely empty. <laughs> completely fucking obliterated. It all, like, all you find is Linda dead on her back because people stormed her. Okay, well, I go to the other wall. It's not the one with Linda. Okay. The one over here. Also empty. I all grab a backpack. Yeah. I grab all the food that I can that is in this office right now. Okay. So I grab all of that shit. But yeah. I'm not going to stick around here. I'm not going to stick around in these buildings. You know what they're going to do? They're going to search all the buildings. Right. So I get in my car and I park about a mile or two out from. Uh, there's a quarry up on 309. And right? I, at this point, the aliens set off the EMP that wipes electricity from the world. Fine, great. So now you're stuck in a quarry. Great, that's exactly the point, though. Okay. So I before, but before I left, though, I grabbed some blankets and stuff that were down here too. Yeah. So now I'm deep in a quarry hole. What alien's gonna be digging around in a quarry? It's just fucking rocks, right? Okay. So I'm down there. Where was I? Like you're yeah. right. You're right outside the Newgrounds office, looking up into the sky like an you're idiot. Like, you're like, Mick, why? Why did you? Were you what, why did you leave me out? <laughs> Outside. <laughs> Let me in. I'll be like, no. They only have a few hours left. You've got, you know, eight hours left. I probably just go back inside and draw till my demise. Okay, fine. but here, let off the EMP. All the <laughs> electricity's out. You're just oh, drawing yeah. on a. You're drawing on a blank. I just lay down and accept my fate. Cause I don't know if I'd be able to do much. Okay. I'm you just you, fuck. you want to spend your last minutes looking at your phone, and then you realize your phone's dead too. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna lay down. <laughs> just face just down on the out. ground. Just you can't out. watch long plays on YouTube anymore. What? Yeah, you're fucked. I can't watch walkthroughs and long plays. It's done. So I'm in the quarry with yeah. whatever food I've I got. I blow my fucking brains out. I've got I've got the funny. I've got some blankets and some pillows. Yeah. And I basically wait it out yeah. while I'm down there 
and just hope that they don't fucking come down. I cover myself in rocks. Little did you know that there's a quarry monster that lives in the <laughs> No! <laughs> it's winter, dude. It's been waiting for you the whole time. He's That's why I, rocks are hot. <laughs> rocks so are I, not hot! I cover myself with lots of rocks. What about then? the quarry monster? There's no quarry monster. <laughs> I kill the quarry monster, I slit open its belly with my teeth, and I sleep in it, and I eat it, and survive. Okay. No, so I basically, <laughs> okay. I, I don't know how many days of food, maybe like four days of food, possibly, if I rationed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Water-wise, I, I, man, I All mean, right, I well, could try to drink the snow or three something. People, three people show up. There's only room for one of them. Jim Carrey. Wait, you're telling me three people showed up? I'm sorry. I'm three sorry. People, three people, four people, months of food now. Three people I'm gonna show eat up. all those motherfuckers. Listen, three people show up. Jim Carrey, Tom Hanks, and Jack Black. All right. I marry Jack Black, I eat Jim Carrey, and I kill the fuck other- Tom Fuck Tom Hanks. Fuck Tom Hanks. <laughs> Mick, your quarry, your little quarry charade is not gonna cut it because the aliens have sent out drones with thermal vision and they see you and okay. they, they use their fucking- no, uh, It's cool, man. They use their claw, comes yeah. down and picks you up. Perfect. Got me? Yeah. Great. Plan B. Okay. I had this in my back pocket the whole time. Ooh. See, while I was running around looking for stuff, mm. I grabbed the super glue from the basement Whoa. and I super glued my butthole. Shut. Why? It doesn't matter because they, they, they can't penetrate me and crush me from the inside if they can't get their fingers on my butthole. Your mouth, your mouth is still open. Yeah, just... My fucking, <laughs> fucking fill my mouth with really? super glue. Okay, <gasps> Mick, this is your last chance. Okay, you're aboard the alien ship. You're looking down on Earth, burning. It's a big ball of fire. Oh my God! Everyone's dead. Everyone's brown bread. Okay, so you're, you're on their autopsy table, right? What? I'm dead already? No, you're oh, not. Okay. I'm about okay. to be though. You're, you're about to be fingered. Okay. In the mouth. Yes. And crushed from the inside. <laughs> yes. For science. Yes. But the alien drops his ball bearing and it rolls out of the room and he, he fumbles out to yes. get it. Now is your chance. What do you do? <laughs> I look around for something to grab. Yeah. There is a huge you know, giant scissors. The huge giant, like the ones they open, like the, they cut the ribbon for the, the fucking museum. Chris, oh, bigger than that and sharper than that. Chris, oh my god, I, I grab it. I yeah. don't think you know what Dungeons and Dragons is. Can I, is it too, can I pick it up? Uh, with your toes. Alright, well, whatever I can grab it with. So he's I, fumbling around. Yeah, the alien's outside the room looking for his ball bearings. Like, now why do I have to use my toes? Is it, what, what is Cause just, you, you're, you're like, your hands are like, you know, tied down with like, easily cuttable rope. Alright, alright. So I take, I take my foot and I, and I funnel it right through, like I fuck the hole with my foot, and I try to flip the- with both of my feet, and I try to flip it. Okay, but you cut your dick off, but now what? Ah! Yeah. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I, I'm still alive! Okay. Alright, so I guess it's on my chest, Okay, and the, I, the alien's running back into the room. <laughs> oh shit! I fucking heave my pelvis back and forth and fling my blood all over the fucking room! Yeah? I don't know, there's a slip on it? I don't fucking know! Okay, you slipped on it, you're good. Okay, <laughs> now, use the scissors and get out of there. I, scissors? Oh, I, 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 they're back, they're <laughs> fucking sitting on my chest with my feet stuck in them, and I've got my dick cut off, and I'm hopefully not bleeding to death. I guess I can try to widget it okay, over to okay. my hands. Okay, an alien with big pigtails comes in. It's the little girl alien, and oh, it's yeah. like, I want to free you. I, yeah, I, yes! I love humans. Yes! So, okay, so she lets you out and she staples up your, your dick hole. <laughs> the dick couldn't be safe, but now you're not, you're not bleeding to death. And she's like, I'm going to send you back to Earth. Okay, and then- Well, before we go though, I do grab my dick. I, I grab the severed penis. Well, I know by now it's like the shriveled stable. little like dead slug, but- yeah, it's, it's, it's like black and shriveled up now, but yeah. okay, if you, if you want. Okay, but now- I might need a snack on the way back the, to Earth. This is the final objective. Okay. Um, you gotta sneak past the two mom and dad aliens. <laughs> They're watching the game. All right, now wait. All I have to do is sneak past them. The, the, yeah, the little girl alien's like, go, go, quick, quick. so there's like a ship like right in front of, in between them. There's like a daddy alien reading a newspaper in yes. the alien kitchen, and the mom's washing dishes. Okay, they're watching. And there's a little dog H. alien. They're watching. Go, uh, and there's a dog. Yeah, there's a little dog alien running. <laughs> Fuck. They're watching HGTV. All right, I lean over it and I say, they're watching HGTV, right? <laughs> Home and Garden. Network I say, little little alien girl, <laughs> little alien girl, thank you for saving me. You saved like, my ah! life. I lean over, I give her a small kiss on the forehead. She fingers your ass. <laughs> and kills me? No, she doesn't so, kill you. Okay, she, it's I'm friendly. Like, oh! It's like an alien bite, you know, a little nibble. I, I have finger, asshole, prostate cum. Yeah. Then I pick her up by her head and I fucking fling her across the room into the wall. And she's like, <laughs> No, 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 but she's clearly gets the attention of everybody in the yeah. room. Daddy yeah. alien throws his I, beard out. Yeah, <laughs> and they, they're looking at her right now. So while they're all distracted by their daughter getting thrown in the fucking wall, yeah. I run the opposite direction. I run towards the ship. Okay. Oh, I mean the, the escape pod. Yes, the escape pod. Okay. I'm in the escape pod. You're in the escape pod. The aliens are smacking on the door going, 
Okay. I'm looking around. There's all this alien fucking technology. I don't know what to fucking do. Okay, actually... this is this is the last thing you okay. gotta do. I'm you... in the pod. I'm so close. No, you're in the. Wait, but where room. am I even gonna go? I can't go back to Earth. Earth's on fucking fire. <laughs> There's a huge fire extinguisher on the bottom of the pod. <laughs> So you're good. Okay. You gotta use that first. All right. So you I I, pu I push the button. I don't fucking know how to drive this thing. Okay. It eject. Okay. You push the wrong button. You get sucked into outer space. No. But you're falling towards Earth. Oh, okay. Luckily, there's a huge eagle flying right underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> you land on it and catch it on fire. <laughs> and, and then you look up behind you, and the, the the spaceship explodes. Yes. So you you beat it. Yes. You defeated the aliens. I defeated the aliens, but I still didn't extinguish Earth's flames. I'm just flying over a burning <laughs> Earth on a giant eagle, Look bleeding like, to death out of my dick hole, waiting for death. Just because the Earth's on fire doesn't mean it still can't rain. So it rains. The fire's gone. Yeah. You you land on. I Earth. land on Earth. How many people are alive? Like you and the eagle. All right. <laughs> well, Corey's All alive right. too. He survived. Somehow. No, he didn't. He oh didn't. no, I'm Cor still Cor working. All right, fine. <laughs> you, you find Corey like a, a, a wall fell on him and kept him safe. All right. Yeah, I lift the table, but I'm like. All right, I come up hey, to Corey. Man. I find Corey. I'm like, oh my god, I give him a big hug. I'm like, I'm so glad you're alive. But it turns out that he was the little girl alien in the sky. Yeah, I pull, oh! I pull off my Corey mask. Like, dude, me all thanks for saving my life. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I've, I've been here all really along. Really appreciate it. I'd be like, yo, dude, I got this eagle here. We can kill it and we can eat it. And I wait for Corey before he's like, yeah, that's a great idea. And then what I'll do is we'll, we'll both approach the eagle. And as we do that, um, as I go in to stab the eagle, I actually turn around and stab Corey. And I kill Corey because I'm going to eat Corey because an eagle is so much more helpful because I can fly that around. But the little girl. Corey's, Corey's the little girl. I know. Girl, yeah. You already served She saved you. You served your purpose. You okay. saved my life. I don't need you anymore. Okay, the end. Mick is a murdering asshole. <laughs> Make Wait, it, no dick. I'm make, a dickless murdering kill, asshole. Kill the alien. <laughs> that rides an eagle. Make, make kill that the alien. An eagle. Yes. And and uh, <laughs> what's that one poison? Ricin? It, it's a type of poison. Arsenic? No, it's a type of poison. Anthrax? Like, Anthrax. No, it's a poison that when you inhale it, it like causes you to foam at the mouth. Um, Most poison. Cyanide. Oh. Cyanide. You stab her and cyanide starts leaking from her body and the toxins kill you. So then there's just a lone and eagle this, on a, on Earth. The, the curtains close and Big Dick Rick directed. Directed by Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody claps. Angelina Jolie walks up, gives you a peck on both your cheeks, wow. hands you the award. Leonardo's wiping tears from his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dick Rick! Big Dick Rick! The king of the world! <laughs> Wow, I can't believe my porn won an Emmy. <laughs> this is a first in history. Thanks to the American Movie Association for helping me get past those mean critics. And that, you know, you're not left to win porn awards at the Emmys.